Hey there, it's Asia. Let's talk about your IELTS speaking exam today. One of the things IELTS examiners check is if you connect your ideas and make your answers easy to understand by using linking words or discourse markers. These are words and phrases we use to indicate what we're about to say, such as I think to give your opinion and also to add another point, but to say something that contrasts with what was said before. There is nothing wrong with them. The only problem is that we tend to use these four linkers in IELTS speaking way too often. Another common problem is inappropriate linking words. It's a speaking exam, so you should use spoken English. And some of the linkers that look fantastic in a formal writing essay will sound out of place here. Examples of these are moreover, nevertheless, and furthermore. In this video, I'd like to give you some alternatives that you could easily use in your speaking exam to sound natural and increase your fluency and cohesion score. Okay, let's get started. Do you often say, I think? When I don't control myself, I tend to repeat these words a bit too often. There are a few expressions to use instead. I guess. Why do you think people often eat at home rather than go out every night? I guess the main reason is that cooking at home is much cheaper than going to a restaurant. You could say, I reckon or I suppose. I suppose eating out every night is pretty time consuming. Time consuming means it takes a lot of time. The next phrase is, I'd say. I'd say means I would say, but when you're speaking, it's more natural to use a contraction. Has your hometown changed much since you were a child? I'd say it's hard to recognize it these days. There are so many new high-rise buildings, shops and restaurants everywhere that I don't think I would be able to guess which city I was in if I didn't know. When you're not really sure if you're right or if something is true, say, as far as I know. Do any flowers have a special meaning in your country? Well. As far as I know, red roses mean love, while carnations are often the flowers of choice for funerals and commemorations. The phrase, as far as I know, emphasizes that you may be wrong and you're not insisting on your opinion. If you're sure about your answer, say, I'm sure. Do you think a leisure time is important? I'm sure it's very important. From my experience, if I work long hours without having any rest, I get burned out before the week is over. And also, we use these linking words to add another point. It's very natural to use them in your speech, but you should still know a few synonyms. How about these? Firstly, secondly, thirdly, are these good linking words for IELTS speaking? The answer is no, they are too formal. Instead, to give your first point, say, well, first of all, here is a more serious question from part three. Why do you think children should read books for entertainment? Well, first of all, Books read for fun help children fall in love with reading, and people who are fond of reading are much more likely to read educational books than those who don't like reading at all. To add another point, you could use besides, what's more, or on top of that. Besides, books read for fun can help children learn more about human nature and their own emotions and desires. Here is one more linking phrase. Another thing is. Another thing is, children can learn new vocabulary when they are reading for fun. What about these? 
Additionally, furthermore, moreover, nevertheless. They are all very formal and are typically used in formal writing, such as IELTS Writing Task 2. There are some situations when you could use them in speaking part 3 when you are discussing more serious concepts. But you should definitely avoid them when answering simple questions about yourself in part 1. The next overused linking word is but. In IELTS speaking, you are often required to contrast two ideas or disagree with an idea. And but works in every situation. But here are some more interesting alternatives you could use instead. On the other hand, do you think parents should allow their children to use social media? Well, there are definitely some dangers associated with social media, such as cyberbullying or violent content. On the other hand, forbidding children from using Instagram and TikTok when everyone else uses them would be unreasonable too. I suppose parents should rather control how their children use social media to make sure they are safe. Another linker you could use instead of but is that said. That said, we cannot simply forbid children to use Instagram and TikTok. Here, the intonation is key. If you simply say, that said, we cannot simply forbid children, and so on, the examiner may not even understand you. Your voice must go up and then down. That said, that said, we cannot simply forbid children to use Instagram. You could also say yet or however. What is the best time to get up in the morning? I think it's best to get up with the sun around 6 or 7 a.m., yet I rarely do it myself. Actually, as a matter of fact, that's how you can correct somebody in a polite way. What subject did you study at university? As a matter of fact, I didn't go to university. I went to work straight after school and learned accounting by studying for a professional qualification. You can also use actually and as a matter of fact to contrast between what is true and what somebody believes. For example, did you enjoy your holiday? I thought spending two weeks on the beach would be relaxing and rejuvenating. Actually, it was pretty boring if you ask me. I'd rather have gone hiking in the mountains. Have a look at the last sentence. I'd rather have gone hiking. I would rather have done something else. This means that today I think what I did in the past was not the best decision. And I think I should have done something else. I hated the concert. I'd rather have stayed at home. There are a number of other situations in IELTS speaking that may require appropriate linking words, such as giving your opinion or saying if you agree or disagree, or clarifying what you've just said. And you can find these and other useful phrases for your test in this video here. Thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam.